What's up, everybody? Troublesome Johnny here, and we're back with some more Doki Doki. I, I'm still questioning myself with this game, to be honest. But we're we're going for it. Uh, we're gonna see how far we could get, and you know, just see what's going on. Let's figure out what the hell's going on with everything going on. We know, I know for a fact that she's Monica. I know she's up to something. She has to be. Uh, from the way everything looks, she's up to something. Uh, last we left off, Yuri and Sayori, I mean, not Sayori, sorry, she's dead, she's gone. Um, Yuri and Natsuki, over here, got into a fight, and Natsuki ran out of the room, so we don't know what Yuri did, and then Yuri was going to talk to us, and then it just decided to just skip to the, to the next day. Um, so we're going to continue back to where we left off, which, damn, I haven't played this in a while. My last video was the Simulacra, and... I figured let's try something different, but this, I think this is more horror for anybody. Alright. <clears throat> Another day passes, and it's time for the club to meeting already. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. By the way, if you hear any noises, my cat is also in the room. I just want to specify that right now. I, whoa, whoa. What is going on with Yuri? She's half her tits right there and the other one's over here bobbing left and right what the hell um welcome back john okay now she's like halfway uh hi yuri i'm not sure if it's me or if it's yuri's expression what expression she's gone but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little oh there she is um yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room natsuki is reading manga at the desk no surprise there. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. What the fuck? About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting normally... Uh, sorry. I wasn't acting mentally sound. This whole game is not mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were consider you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Yeah, fucking Sayori is gone. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. No, it ain't. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. Ah, sorry, I had to shift around a little bit. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, John, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. I'll say it as frankly, freaking smithy as fuck, whatever, as I want. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. That was my cat, by the way, bringing her collar. Um, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Oh, God. Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Mm, no, I haven't. Geez, it this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. A little bit. I went fucking kiddish just a little, a little, a little, a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. I want to know what you said! And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? What the fuck? 
Uh, what are you just gonna forget it happened? Jeez. What? What? Whatever's on your mind, I'm there was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Of course, Satan. You're the best kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it help if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear some since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> oh God, no! Sayori flashbacks. Not at all. No, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Yeah, that, that makes it sound even better. The Tsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Oh, great. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Whap. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Natsuki was. <laughs> well, Natsuki was. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I was not. Oh. Uh -huh. What took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Uh -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell at least. I must have. I must have not. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, as Monica. Uh, I don't get. I realize that I'm making it sound like they're the same, Monica and Yuri. I gotta fix that. Uh, uh don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Aw, thanks, Yuri. Well, thank you, Yuri. Whatever, blah, blah. You didn't, you should play something for at that time. Uh, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working with writing on writing a song, but that's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, John. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks, John. I'm surprised I read that that fast. So. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, no, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuki has already run off into the closet. John, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in a club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. <laughs> yeah, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to... Oh, no. Sorry, people. So cat mouth again. I don't know why. I think, well, it's flu season and all this crap going on where I'm at, so... I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls a book out of the, a copy of her book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time here any, if there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow the watch. She retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Alright, this is fucking... This is gonna be a lot of repeats. Um, I don't know if I should just skip this or not. I mean... You know... Eh, fuck it. This, 
we'll just keep it going and see if there's any more developments and maybe I will cut some time out here and there. I don't know if it's going to repeat itself. Like if it's going to go candy boop again like I was doing before, then I'm just going to skip it. All right. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and electric kettle, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll get some water. She walks past a set of kettles down to the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. Don't lie, John. You're watching her ass. We already know how it is. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. I'm sure that's what you're looking at. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. But that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. She's gonna slip me a Mickey, isn't she? Oh, no, wait. We went through this. Yeah, so, pitcher. Ah, oh, fuck. I skipped that. Pitcher of water, something, something. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Yeah, you fucking devil bitch. I know you fucking demon something. I don't know, but I know something. Ten minute pass. Yuri said it would, wouldn't take long. Is something holding her? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look, go look for her. Did she fucking impale herself with the... Music just dropped down a tone. Okay, let's see. The most logical place for Yuri is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha, ha. What the hell? Ha, ha. What's that noise? That's a good question. It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale. <gasps> like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. <sighs> Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh! Whoa! Okay, so I guess uh, Matsuki was right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is it. It's rewinding? It's rewinding. Why is it rewinding? The fuck with this game! I swear to God! I'm back. We know what you were doing! Thanks for waiting patiently. Uh, John, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine, as long as it isn't your blood. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature to the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? This is, uh, God damn it, this is exactly what I mean. It's gonna repeat itself. It's the same shit that I dealt with the first time, but now there was that! Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not the expert on tea or anything? <laughs> oh, God. In that case, you'll only be... You'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Actually, a thought occurred. Was she wearing short sleeves or long sleeves when she came over to the house? I don't remember. Um, to, my impress, uh, to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. I'm glad you're not fucking slitting your throat or your wrist at this point. Just don't push yourself too much. Don't push that knife so deep into your fucking skin, you know? You're always worrying about me, John. It's very endear- and I'm telling- I'm saying this right now, it still pisses me off that the fucking name is F! Ah! That's- Yuri was kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want you to pour a cup of tea for each of us. John, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh, yeah, because of her, yeah, her uh, posture. Um, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly frequently, be uh, so, uh, regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is, yeah. It's most likely because of my... Uh... Your tits! My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. Sure. That's... That's why... That, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. 
I retrieved the book from my leg. From my bag. From my leg. What the fuck was wrong with me? Uh, I have some chocolate as well. Yeah, it's a bag of the small chocolate candies. I take it as I say. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. It's the fucking chocolate poop. I'm gonna skip this part anyway. Um, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did. Did I just. Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um. John. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh. Yuri starts breathing heavily. I. I can't. John. Uh. John. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. What is she gonna do? John. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, John. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, John? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. What the fuck? Okay. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> okay, maybe this was a mistake to go with Yuri. Uh... Uh... Okay, what the fuck? Do I have to click somewhere else or is it just going to keep going? Uh... Whoa! Uh, um... It's... Time to share poems! The fuck? The fuck was that? Like, what the absolute fuck? I'm starting to think Yuri was a fucking mistake. <sighs> Alright, you know what? We'll switch it up. Let's, let's go with Natsuki for once. At the beginning, alright? Yeah, just as I thought. Dad, come on, I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it blankly, it's kind of pathetic. Well, nobody actually, anyway. Why are you, why are you even in this club, Dad? Honestly. Because fucking a friend of mine brought me in here and she died. I, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other for even more. Other even more. This is such a stupid activity, anyway. Look. I'm not in a good mood today, and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Hang on, I gotta let my cat out of the room real quick. Be right back. God damn it, Natsuki. Why couldn't you fucking sit there and... Really? You're in a pistol? Monica, I need to talk to you. Away from that one, please. That was just... John, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have, the cho have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend this much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of a messed up? She's even, she even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's just... She just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. God damn it, girl. But at the at this point, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. You fucking... You're an enabler. You are. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head. No, you don't. And I know it's how to treat my club members. No, you don't. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh, God. Save me. The colors, they won't bright. They won't. Uh, the colors, they won't. Bright. Beautiful. Okay, it's, like, it's supposed to say like beautiful colors, but it looks like shit's missing, too. Okay. Beautiful colors. Flashing. Expanding. Piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony. Cacophony! Of being... We read this before. This shit's... Okay, wait a minute. This... Wait a minute. Okay, maybe it's a clue. Cacophony of... Stop. Sine, cosine, tangent. Knife. Breathing. Rib cage of... Delete her. 
Oh god, is it gonna delete? Is it gonna delete Yuri? Oh god. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not even gonna read it. Now I'm kind of enabling in it. Oh god. There it was. There was something. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Fucking get out of this club. That's my tip. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. Fuck off with you and the saves, okay? You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Tell me you can hear me. I can hear you. Hello? Anything? Yes. Please help me. What the fuck? Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What the fuck is going on? And now I gotta go fucking talk to Yuri to that. What the fuck? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> fuck. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem and spreads expressions on her face. Do you, do you like it? John, this one might be, even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try to give it more imaginary. Yuri desperately dis swallows, even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, John. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Oh, God. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, John? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual co at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Yeah, I'll read it. There's no music. Why is there no music? Is she gonna look stabby? Uh, I can't read that handwriting. Shit. Wheel, uh, rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, fail, falling sky, seven hole stikes, uh, docked ship, a portal to another world, uh, fin, rope tied to a thick rope. I'm sorry, people. I'm having a hard time reading her script for some reason. Um, a to a tor a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming within open water is a direction drowning, a prayer within, written in blood, a prayer written in time, devoting smoke with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a Kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 years in a trick, Ugh. a ticking clock, a clock that ticks on second, one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. God damn it, it's like fucking reading a weird philosophy book. A uh, bolt head of holy stakes stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time growing prayer connectively a sky of flattery gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox breathing bolt head, breathing slit ship breathing portal, breathing snakes the snakes the snakes are stakes uh, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, there's stakes, okay breathing human eyes, breathing time breathing Prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. What the fuck? And there's no music. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyper hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that's a that's a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I um uh, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh -huh. I I'm okay. Is she like the type of girl that would steal your underwear? Why is there no sound? There's, there's no sound. It's fucking scary. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Yeah, I, I don't want any of this to happen. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? God, last time this happened, your Sayori died. Why not? A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There was four of us. 
I drift off to sleep while I, I drifted off to sleep while everybody was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there was nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I did not recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they even knew... How they knew to tell a joke at that moment. I swear to God. Something that... Whoa. Um... What the fuck? Am I dying? Okay, everyone. Oh, I don't like a sound. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can sit in the front of the room. Is that about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, okay, okay. For the sake of argument, I'm gonna pretend I'm not hearing that noise. I'm gonna try to keep through with the fucking uh, voices. Ugh, do we do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Okay. Oh. Screen black. Why is the screen black? Did I die? Ah! Fuck! I didn't really do well with the last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since John joined, and we've started this with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complicated. We still only have a four members. Oh, excuse me. We only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Let's get, what's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members would just mean everyone gets new easier and more difficult to manage. Mitsuki, I don't think you're looking at the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as possibly can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be the place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. Help me! It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do with a fucking cult. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, John? Uh, sorry, it's two o'clock. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning where I'm recording, and I'm usually up, like, till 3, but I'm starting to get tired. I, I apologize for that. Uh. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of John to agree with you just because he doesn't know what to say, no to, no to anything. Look, Monica, you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You already never even talked until John joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And John isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's everyone. Fuck off. Sorry, but you're really the only one who is interested in finding your members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Wow, Monica is clearly taken back by Nisuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and John want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no, Mitsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I even, why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're, we're against getting new members or anything. John. Why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join, 
Madoka sits down and stares at the desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting the club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just broke my mind. It's a, is it a crime, to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for any everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. Wow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually feel sorry for Natsuki. I mean, usually she's just a fucking bitch, but I actually feel sorry for her. She's not taking it away. Taking anything away. No, John. It's not the same. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the, with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out the class. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. What? Who cares about the obnoxious brat? Who cares about that obnoxious brat? What the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still... I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? I should, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what would you, John? What about you, John? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I'd send to give an indirect answer as best to nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. She's crying blood. I saw that. So if you would like if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri uh, um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, John? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with John before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two, the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? John, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Uh-oh, something's happening. I really don't, I really don't care about... I re and I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean that Suki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Uh -huh. 
Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically the only, it's only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just a few things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! What the fuck? The fuck? You know what? As much as I hate to say it, we're gonna try Suki. Okay. What? Wait, Monica's been down here this whole time? Is that what it... Whoa, 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 wait, what? One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I just noticed it's a thirteen. Okay, so. What the fuck? Okay, that was 20, but why did it fucking... Oh god, she's got the crazy eyes. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it there, people, because... I don't know how much more I can take of this. I mean, seriously, Yuri is actually starting to scare the fuck out of me. So we're gonna save for right there. In fact, I'm saving right now. She's like the crazy girlfriend. So, I mean, look at those eyes. I mean, shit. Alright, we're gonna leave it right there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'm hoping you guys aren't getting as fucking creeped out as I am. Because god damn it this game. And um. I don't know who to. I, I don't know if Monica's actually trying to save us. Or if she's trying to just. Fuck with us. But. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. With that being said. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. And I know I was a little. Behind on videos. Um. There was a bit of stuff going on and I'm starting to get a little better it was a little bit of a sickness kind of thing with that being said this is Troublesome Johnny signing off